English Mastiff, The World's Heaviest Dog, by Don Blumo Oldfield. Heavyweight. The English Mastiff is the heaviest dog in the world. An English Mastiff weighs about as much as a refrigerator. A male English Mastiff weighs between 150 and 250 pounds. 68 and 113 kilograms. A female weighs between 120 and 200 pounds. 54 and 91 kilograms. An ancient dog. Mastiffs were first raised in Asia around 5,000 years ago. About 2,000 years ago. People brought the large, strong dogs to England. The Mastiffs were trained to help English soldiers fight their enemies. The dogs wore armor and spiked collars in battle. The very first Mastiffs are thought to have come from a part of Asia called Tibet. Tibetan Mastiff where English Mastiffs were first raised. England. Tibet. The Mighty Mastiff. An English Mastiff is built to be strong. The huge dog has a long, tall body and a deep, wide chest. Its powerful paws are bigger than a person's hands. The English Mastiff's head is large and round. Its mouth is so big that a human head can fit inside. Paw. An adult English Mastiff can grow to be about 30 inches, 76 centimeters, tall at the shoulder. Large head. Wide chest. Long body. At work. Because it is so big and strong, the English Mastiff was used as a working dog. People trained the Mastiff to hunt huge animals, such as bears. The giant dog was also used to pull small carts and haul heavy loads. During World War I, 1914 to 1918, Soldiers used English Mastiffs to pull carts filled with weapons to the battlefield. Mastiffs pulling carts. On guard. English Mastiffs are not just strong. They are also brave and loyal. Mastiffs will protect their owner's home and family from danger. They let out a deep, loud bark if a stranger comes near. Despite their fierce bark, Mastiffs are usually gentle and friendly. For thousands of years, Mastiffs guarded castles and homes. They also kept wolves and other dangerous animals away from sheep and other livestock. Guard Dog Family Dog English Mastiffs are sweet dogs that love spending time with people. Mastiffs are known for... English Mastiffs are not just strong. They are also brave and loyal. Mastiffs will protect their owner's home and family from danger. They let out a deep, loud bark if a stranger comes near. Despite their fierce bark, Mastiffs are usually gentle and friendly. For thousands of years, Mastiffs guarded castles and homes. They also kept wolves and other dangerous animals away from sheep and other livestock. Guard Dog Family Dog English Mastiffs are sweet dogs that love spending time with people. 
Mastiffs are known for being calm and getting along well with other pets and children. However, owners should always watch their giant dogs around small kids. One wag of the dog's huge tails can easily knock over a young child. English Mastiffs are nicknamed Gentle Giants because of their sweet personalities. Happy and Healthy Caring for an English Mastiff is no small job. Owners need to teach their big, heavy dogs not to jump up on people and knock them down. English Mastiffs also need a home with lots of space to run and play. Like people, Mastiffs need exercise each day to stay fit and healthy. Some English Mastiffs slobber or drool. Owners should have a towel ready to clean up the wet mess. Puppy Power English Mastiffs grow up to be very large dogs. Yet they start out small. Mastiff puppies weigh only about two pounds, one kilogram, when they are born. Like other newborn puppies, they cannot see or walk. For the first few weeks of their lives, they sleep and drink their mother's milk. At eight weeks old, the puppies are ready to become part of a human family. A female English Mastiff usually has a litter of four to twelve puppies. Puppies Living Large it doesn't take long for Mastiff puppies to become giants of the dog world. At only six months old, the young dogs can weigh about 100 pounds, 45 kilograms. That's as much as a baby hippo. They are fully grown at around two years of age. By then, these giants have shown their owners just how loving and loyal they are. Three-month-old puppy Seeing Eye Dogs by Jenny Fretland Van Vorst Meet a seeing eye dog. Meet Max. He is a seeing eye dog that helps Anne, his owner, Stay safe. Why does Anne need Max's help? Anne is blind. She depends on Max to help her get around without getting hurt. Anne. Max. A great team. A seeing eye dog and its owner, called a handler, work as a team. The handler, who is blind, cannot see things in his or her way. The dog, however, can show its handler where to go. To do this, a seeing-eye dog wears a special harness. By holding on to the harness, the handler can safely follow the dog. Harness Helping on stairs Seeing eye dogs lead handlers around so that they do not fall or trip. For example, the dogs are trained to stop at staircases. By stopping, the dog is telling the handler to be careful. The handler then knows to use extra care when taking the next step. Crossing a road. How do handlers cross busy streets without getting hit by cars? Their seeing eye dogs help them out. The dogs stop at street corners so that handlers can listen for traffic. When the sounds of cars stop, handlers know it is safe to cross. 
The dogs then lead the handlers in a straight line across the road. Taking a bus ride. A seeing eye dog can also help its handler ride a bus. A seeing eye dog at a bus stop. At a bus stop, the dog waits with its handler. When a bus arrives, the dog walks up to the door and stops. Then the handler knows to be careful as he or she climbs on board the bus. Going places. A seeing eye dog learns how to guide its handler to nearby places. For example, they may go to the library several times together. This helps the dog remember how to get there. The handler also teaches the word library to the dog. Then the handler can say, take me to the library. The dog will safely lead its handler there. A seeing eye dog leading its handler across town. What makes a good seeing eye dog? Most seeing eye dogs are retrievers or German shepherds. These dogs are smart and friendly. It is also easy to train them to avoid danger. For example, the dogs quickly learn when it is not safe to cross a road. The dogs refuse to move so that the handlers know to wait. Training a Seeing Eye Dog At special schools, dogs are taught how to work with handlers. As part of their training, the dogs are brought to noisy or crowded places. After a while, the dogs learn to be relaxed and calm there. Now they can pay close attention to their handlers. Trainer Always on the job. A seeing eye dog needs to pay attention to its work. It wears a vest that lets people know that it is working. Do not pet a working dog unless its handler says you can. After all, a seeing eye dog has an important job to do.